Hello and welcome back. Today's episode is brought to you by the letter T. That is T for attractive. As you can see, the beast is wearing new boingers. We have attractive extreme shocks front and rear. The manually adjusted ones. I ditched the uh, electronic suspension control with the big servo motors and preload uh, electronic preload adjustment. All that's gone in its place now. Are these tractive extreme manually adjusted shocks? You can see I still got a uh, marker there where I've set the sag. And what can I say? Well, I've really only ridden on the road just to here. So on the road, it feels nice. I've I've basically just set the sag and I've set the rear to 65 millimeters sag. It, it was suggested 60, 65 at the max. I'm only light, I'm running no luggage, no racks or anything, so I've gone for maximum sag, which is 65 millimeters. At the front, I'm still on 35 millimeters. I haven't, uh, there's a, you can see it in there. Okay. Well, there, in there, there's a, um, ring which I can wind out to take some preload off. I'll leave it how it is now and just do a little bit of testing and see what we feel, what we think, and then I may adjust. The clickers are pretty much where they were, sort of middle of the road. Um, it's got low and high speed compression adjustment and rebound adjustment up the top because the uh, front shock is inverted. On the rear I've got high and low speed up the top and rebound down the bottom. So let's get onto some dirt tracks and see what we think. Okay, just gonna take it easy to start with. This road is kind of groomed, kind of not, so anything could be up here like this hump. Oh yeah, that was very nice. Whoa! Traction is good, wheelies are plenty. Let's see. Oh, the wheelies and skids, that's good. But we're here to talk about suspension, not wheelies. So, what do I feel so far? Well, it's, oh, well, here's a test. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Hang on. Hang on. Okay, so it's firm but plush. If I can explain it that way, I have a little bit of plushness in the overall feel, that is, the bike is not jarring. It's not hitting these little things and jarring or spiking at the front or the rear. I feel the bike just slightly, you know, undulating over everything. So that's my initial feel of the, the plushness and the firmness I'm talking about is that it's not going through, there was a bit of sand. Don't even notice it. Didn't even, oh yeah. Didn't even notice that sand. Now that's, in my book, that's a sign of a well set up bike. If you don't notice the front tucking in or doing anything strange at all in sand, that to me is a well set up bike. And that's what I felt. I, I only knew it was sand because it looked like sand. I could see it was a little bit soft. I didn't feel anything. Now back to the firmness. It's holding itself higher in the stroke I can feel. With the standard suspension, and this is the electronic suspension I'm talking about, you had pretty much soft, medium and hard. Soft was nice. It was it's kind of plush. It wasn't this plush. It was kind of plush, but it bottomed out very easily. Hard was what it said it was hard when you were going fast it sort of kept itself up in the stroke and it was okay but on the softer stuff it was just too harsh this feeling now is just as I said firm but plush it doesn't make sense but that's the way I'm gonna explain it it's holding itself up in the stroke it's plush over this small stuff I can't I'm not getting jarred or harshness anything through the bars or the pegs. I can feel what's going on, but it's not upsetting the bike. Yeah, it's, it's 
it's just really nice. So I'll take this little side track up here and see what happens. Might be a good test of it. Get some roots. Yeah, it's a bit, I can feel a little. Yeah, the front on that those sharp exposed roots. That's where what's this feel like? Oh yeah, that was nice. Those exposed roots similar to this, I can feel a little bit of a spike through the front. So maybe I can click that out. Maybe it's preload. I might try clicking it out. Now, let me just show you this. I'll take my gloves off. So it did come with this attractive suspension, did come with this fancy uh, tool with all the bits in the back that you put on the front, you can adjust everything. But I went old school and look at that. There's my suspension adjustment right there. So I want to do some, I think it's low speed. I want to click out from the front. So we come down here. You can see there high and low. So that's low. And what I want to do, put that in there, and I'm going to give it four turns and see what happens. One, two, three, four. That's four clicks, sorry, not turns. So I've just touched the low speed because it's just the little stuff. Maybe it's the high speed. I don't know. You can tell I'm not the best. Maybe it's the high speed. I'm going to click both of them. One, two, three, four. Now, if you know suspension better than me, Feel free to comment and tell me what the hell I'm doing. But I've adjusted both. Smack me on the wrist if it's wrong, but I'm out here testing. So we've gone four softer on both. Let's go back, redo that section and see how it feels. All right, so I'm just gonna try this again. We went up here. We went over these. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. Let's hit these ones. Oh yeah, that's much better. So, I've taken four clicks out. Let's see it here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. I'm off camber, trying to hit the worst lines. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bike's just handling it. That's great. So those four clicks, they've taken the spike, that initial spike or harshness, out of those tree roots, exposed tree roots. So I'm happy with that. As you can see, four clicks of adjustment. I know I did low and high speed, so maybe that wasn't right. But four clicks made a difference. That's another good sign of good suspension when the clickers actually make a difference. I'm going to continue to do some more general riding and then see what we think. Yeah. Definitely liking this suspension. Whoa. On initial setup. Okay, now this track here, this is not groomed or looked after. And the full drives have been through here and generally messed it up. I'm going to pick some lines to test the suspension, but not wreck it. Pothole, yeah. Still, the front feels slightly firmer than the back, but I'm, I'm okay with that at the moment. It's not upsetting. And again, for me, What's in the back of my mind is ground clearance. So if it's a little bit firmer, it's holding it up through the stroke more, and I don't have to worry too much about bottoming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this is bad. Oh yeah, this is real bad. Whoa, whoa. Oh, the bike handles it. Okay, yeah. So front is still a little harsh. I'm going to try to take some more preload out the front. Find a spot to pull over and we'll do that. What I did there, here's my little Allen key. There's a lock grub screw in there. Loosen that and then this wasn't the right tool for it but I stuck the Allen key in there and just wound that bottom ring 
down two revolutions, so it's dropped it down a couple of mils. Still got uh, plenty of preload on there. Maybe I should do one more while I'm here. Okay, I'll do one more. And just turn it around till that grub screw comes back here. There it is. Okay. So that's three revolutions now. I'll just lock that grub screw in. Not much force needed, just snug. Because it's actually pressing on the, the thread. That's good. Spring's not loose. I um, turn these two back in, both of those. Uh, let's try that and see what happens. Yeah, definitely more compliant now. Softer in the front, more plush. That's good, but I've gone too far. Let's see what happens when I hit things a bit quicker. Let's see how we handle this. I aim for the rougher stuff. Yeah, I can't even feel these little rocks and gravel. All right, I've just stopped here for two reasons. Firstly, to change my underpants because I thought I was going to crash and die. And the second reason is to tell you about it. So, back there just around that corner, I'm on this smooth gravel road. I was in the middle on the, the looser gravel testing it out. I didn't see in the shadows, and you can see up there, there's a big erosion mound. It was probably nearly a metre tall. And I tried to wash off speed before it, but I couldn't. And then I, I couldn't really accelerate because it was quite steep. And so I rolled over it. It's still at a bit of pace. And the bike nosedived and landed front wheel first. And I thought that was it. I was going to cartwheel. What happened? The bike just landed, back wheel landed, and I kept going. Wow, that's when you know you've got good suspension. And what I did just previously to that, I actually set the clickers back to the factory or close to the factory setting because I think when I wound them out before, they were too soft and it was going through the stroke a little bit too much. So I've set them up sort of how I got the middle of the range. And yeah, I think that's it. I think I shouldn't have fiddled with them in the first place. Taking the preload out of the front. The back, I'm happy with. The back, wow. The front now, I think, wow. So, I'll uh, turn around. I'll show you this little mound where I nearly died. So, there it is. That's the, uh, the crest of the little bump that I hit quite fast. And I launched and landed here in the soft stuff. And I'm pretty sure the suspension saved my life. So another thumbs up for attractive. Yeah, I can see where I tried to break there in the looseness of the loose gravel. Not a smart move, but we survived. I lived to tell the tale and praise the suspension. Some traction control off. There we go. All right, I'm going to try this side track up here. Let's see what happens. So, initial thoughts. Yeah, very nice. Firm, yeah, I don't know. I keep saying firm, but that might not be the word. I think it's just up in the holding itself up in the stroke and definitely very controlled. The thing is, with its manual setup, I'm basically wanting one setup that can handle everything. So, of course, on the slower stuff, it's going to feel a little bit firmer and on of the high speed stuff it might be or the hard big hits it might be a little bit softer but that's what I wanted I want to do one setup have it done and then just ride the bike not have to think about or worry about suspension again oh where am I going here this bike is just whoa heating it up even when you take bad lines Oh yeah, now 
I hit a exposed root or stick back there and even though I've turned the uh, compression adjustment up it was actually better so I'm growing more and more confident in this suspension the road hasn't got any better but my trail pace has improved because I just trust the suspension to do its thing not throw me offline look at this I just pick whatever line I want steer through it and it does it doesn't kick me off yes I can feel it through there but it's not harsh where am I going here cut across so after initial testing sorry after initial setup and a little bit of testing today I'm very happy very happy boy oh yeah it's not this bit of line Look at this garbage and it's just heating it up. There we go. Great work, Tractive. Now, one thing you want to know, where did I get this Tractive suspension from? Well, in case you don't know, I'm in Australia and we have a Tractive dealer here, but on previous experience with that shop, I wasn't too happy with their general, I don't know, I don't want to say too much, but just to say I wasn't too happy. Uh, another thing, I don't think BMW is their bread and butter, so I wasn't confident taking it to them. After asking on some forums, finally someone pointed me to a shop in the UK called T-Tech. And the guy that runs that, Lucas, I sent him an email and said, this is what I'm going to do. His reply was amazing. He said, I have exactly the same bike with exactly the same setup, 21 inch wheel. This is a picture of my bike. These are the shocks I have. This is what I recommend. And he said to me, look, he can do a custom valving setup exactly the same as his for me for the standard price so after a few more questions back and forth the deal was done and Lucas at T-Tech suspension ordered the shocks from Tractive took them to his shop did some fine tuning and sent them to me and Lucas has been amazing I've been chatting to him via email with some setup questions and because of the time difference I sent him a message in my early evening and he gets back to me within an hour or two even when I messed up and didn't realize it was Sunday there he got back to me and I can't thank Lucas enough so Luke if you're listening sorry if you're watching thank you so much this bike is amazing now but yeah if you're looking to buy my recommendation is Luke at T-Tech Suspension. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my ride now and just, just start playing with this suspension. And by playing, I mean, whoa, that kind of playing. Just having fun because it's amazing. Oh baby, just so planted, it's just eating up this, this look this is a, a fairly well graded road but it's still bumps and loose rocks and holes and stuff, it's just eating it up, it's amazing. So the purpose of today's video was just to show you what I've done, my initial setup and testing which was what today's all about. Now if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do because I'm going to be taking this bike out. Whoa! I'm going to be taking this bike out very soon on some big adventures to test out this suspension so please like subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks for watching oh.
little baby. Oh, slow down, Sean. Slow down. That's the problem now. Good boingers make me go too fast. 